Welp, it's that time of year again. It's time for the after Christmas, after birthday art haul. So stay tuned and let's go through all of the stuff I either used gift cards to buy or was given as gifts at the holidays. It's art haul day. All right, so I tried to divide this into three categories. The first category is gonna be basically watercolor and wet media stuff. And then we have a whole category on ink and ink book stuff, like stuff involving ink and ink pens. And then there is the miscellaneous category at the end where I kind of threw everything else. So let's start with the watercolor-esque section. I'm gonna start with something I did by myself and that is a whole bunch of Da Vinci gouache paints. So let me get these out of the packages here. Lindsay Wyrick told us that they went on sale around Black Friday, and I have been very interested in these gouache tubes for a while. I have a set, pretty extensive set at this point, of Holbein gouache that I really like. I have the Magic Fly gouache that I really like, but I've wanted to try some other brands. I am getting the Sarah Burns Craftimo box, so I'm gonna get the Shin Hand ones. And so I wanted something else for 2024 to play with. And to be honest, uh, Daniel Smith's gouache line is expensive. I love Daniel Smith's watercolors, but their gouache line is expensive. This seems like a better bang for my buck. So this is the 10 colors that I got to start with. I'll go through them with you here. They are pretty reminiscent of how I paint. So titanium white. I got Hansa Yellow Light, which is a pretty nice medium light color. A yellow ochre. Then the only, I, I got the color that's called red. I didn't get a pink. I'm probably going to regret it. I'm probably going to need to go back and purchase at least one more color in this lineup. Then we have magenta, which let's just look at it. Let's open it and see. Okay, this one is pink. So the I felt it weird that I didn't get a magenta just by doing the eye test here. I don't know if you guys can see that this paper on the outside is not even close to matching that pink that was on the inside of this cap here. This is much closer to what the color of my nails are, actually. So there's the magenta color. That makes much more sense because I was like, why did I buy a purple? But I didn't get a, a cool red, but I did. Okay, so that's a cool red. Um, interesting that I, I guess I can't trust the paper on the outside. So good to know. I'll have to maybe do like a little swatch on the cap or a swatch here, knowing that. Then we would have our blues next. So we've got ultramarine blue. Now I feel like I need to open them all. There's ultramarine blue. Very beautiful. Excited about that color. We've got, did that close all the way? Yeah, it did. Um, phthalo blue, Payne's gray, sap green, which I opted, I always opt for a sap green as my first green. It's a harder color to mix than like a hooker's green or even closer to like a Viridian type of color. And then burnt umber. So I felt this was a good range for me to start with and to play with. We will see how we feel about it when we do a deeper dive. And they sent me, because I, I did this, so I got a free three gift color set, which is really nice of Da Vinci. They did not have to do that, but they sent me Pearling Red, Thalo Turquoise, and New Gold. And I think at least two of these are new colors for me. I just recently, okay, so hold on one second. I did Miranda Watson's advent calendar and I got the 12 paints from there that were Da Vinci and I do have a big Da Vinci dot card set but I don't actually have any other Da Vinci paints so I'm interested did we get I know she labeled everything so this is cerulean blue I don't think this is thalo turquoise this is cobalt turquoise so thalo turquoise is new to me 
Um, I do not believe I got new gold from her. No, nope, this is Burnt Sienna Deep. And then Pearling Red. This is Da Vinci Red. And this is Permanent Rose. So perfect. I have three new pans that actually I can add to this. And that will, I think we can fit three more pans in there. One. We might have to get creative to fit three more pans in there. We might have to get creative. We'll see if we can fit three more in here. But I would really like it if I could have them all in this little tin from Miranda. Thank you, Miranda, for that. But anyway, this is what I got from Da Vinci. I'm going to slide her off to the side here before we keep going with paint. All right, another brand of paint that I wanted some more tubes of because I recently got a nice set of those through watercolor snacks was the core watercolor paints. So I went ahead one with a, key, um, a gift card from Blick and I bought the rest of what I wanted in this line. So I got myself the iridescent, the <laughs> iridescent, iridescent pearl, gold, and silver. I would, I really want to compare these to the Daniel Smith three that I have. And you know me, I love the watercolor challenge. So I'm going to test the core metallics. And then I also wanted for that set to have um, Titan Buff or like a Buff Titanium kind of color and Permanent Green Light. I was missing kind of a nice, fresh, more vibrant green. So those were the colors I picked up from Core. Core paints are not cheap. So this was, it, that spent a whole gift card. Um, I also on Amazon wanted to try, I think I got these on Black Friday. They are Intuition quill brushes. I think that's the name. Or oh, from Artigria is the company. Lindsay Wyrick got a set of these as well and she really liked them. I just wanted the bigger ones. I wanted to get a set of these bigger quill brushes because sometimes when I'm working bigger, I wish I had some nice bigger brushes. And so we'll see how these hold up. I am not going to put this plastic back on them because that's not how I roll. But they look really beautiful and they seem high quality just to the initial touch. This one has sizing. This one seems to not have any sizing. So that's kind of an interesting choice. Uh, I, I wonder, I have water here. Hold on. Let me just dip it in some water to see if it takes its shape back. Yeah. Yeah. It took its shape back really quickly and nicely. Let me do that so you can see it better. But here's this one. And those will be fun for us to play with and swatch with and test. Let's see, For in my stocking from my mom and dad, my parents, I got, oh no, this was for my birth, no, it was it was in Christmas. It's so hard to remember, that whole week is a blur. Um, I got the Kwame watercolors from Paul Rubens. I am very excited to see how this set compares to the pretty excellent set. I love this palette. So this palette is so fun and unique. I see that we have this like plastic thing over these paints here. If I pull it back just a little bit, does it show me how? So yeah, they're just in there. So I'm not going to take this off yet because I very much am going to need to set up a swatch card before I do that. But we have three by eight, 24 paints in here. So I'm gonna just flash this to the camera for a minute. Oops, now you can see all the color names. So in case anybody wanted to have those color names, you have them. Oh, and this is, is it broken or is it just not snapped there? It just wasn't snapped together. I was like, wait, is it already busted? But no, it's fine. And I do really like it. And I like that this comes out. I know that to be true as well. So this little palette comes out if you wanted more mixing space or for whatever reason, and it snaps back in there and there's a little spot where you can lift it out and a little tool to lift it out. So um, very uniquely made. Well, see now it keeps falling apart though. So now I am concerned that this is not going to stay together nicely. Maybe I just need to snap it in there, but all right, well, we'll have to mess with that later and see, but I am excited to try these. Here is the other. So I guess these are listed on the box. So we will swatch these up sometime in 2024. 
All right, what else do we have in the watercolor section? We got the Derwent Inktents XL blocks. Oh, I'm so excited about these. These were a gift from my sister. So she must watch my videos and know that I asked for these. And I gotta get the box apart. Oh, I always, you gotta love art haul videos because you never know what's gonna happen. All right, so here are our 12 colors of XL blocks and I am just loving it. So vibrant, so beautiful. Can't wait to see how these play. I have been watching other people play with them and I'm very excited to get my hands on them. So great. And then you've got the foam on top so they're not going to move around. So yay, I got some more Derwent fun stuff to play with. And then we have, so I don't know if you guys know Poems About You. Lena at Poems About You is pretty awesome. I have more. I'm going to just pull out for one second here. These paints. So this is my handmade watercolor tin. It's not all Poems About You. That's the only person that gave me a sticker. I have several sets of handmade uh, goodness in here. So Poems About You is one of the brands in here. I also have some green leaf and blueberry and some Jackmans in here. I think that's the main three. Looking, I don't see anybody else. But a lot of the colors in here are poems about you that I've been building for years. I like this palette. It's close to where I want it to be for my handmade colors, but not 100% there. But it is kind of a bigger palette, so taking it in on, on trips is a little bit more difficult. So this year I was looking at the Poems About You site, and Lena did this little sampler set. I'm going to show you here in a minute. But I had the paints. They're a little bit dry, so some of them came out of the pans. Okay, so she does this little sampler set. It just comes in cardboard, and I bought this little magnetic tin on Amazon for $10. So for me, this is like the perfect size. I can add to it, and I did add to it. So I already bought from Poems About You a dioxazine purple because I really wanted it. It was a bigger pan, but I just wanted... The convenience color that I didn't have in here. And I am going to add some more colors to this. Maybe not even all from Poems About You. Okay, Hannah Honey Hughes has a size very similar to this. So I may add some of her colors to this palette. I think I have it swatched out somewhere close by. Let me see if I do. I do. So here are the swatches. And the only thing to note here is that this is supposed to be white, and I accidentally dipped my paintbrush in the blue so it came out not white, but that's the white color that would be listed right there. But that's what the swatches there look like, and then this is some, I think this is the purple that I bought for this tin. Maybe, I'm not sure, uh, but this is other Poems About You stuff that I picked up. Uh, the Smalt and this, I think it's Albrecht blue and then perline green so yeah this must be the the purple that I picked up for this palette because as you can see the purples in this palette aren't real vibrant so I wanted one that was going to go with that set nicely and then these went in my my big palette so I guess I did pick up a few extra colors in here I forgot I did that this is the perline green this is the Albert Dora blue and then the smalt to say this is the smalt right here so yeah I just wanted look at that is the smalt uh swatched just wanted to play with it I've never had a smalt paint before so it was something I wanted to do so yeah those were some things that I grabbed and last thing in the watercolor section is my Mary blues dot card so I didn't know this was out there and then I saw that it was out there and I got real excited and I had to snatch it because I am still doing the dot card project. We still have more to do. We started the metallic watercolor series, so I'm going to try to finish that before I go back to the dot card project, but I do want to finish doing that and swatching things out for you so that you can see things in different iterations. And I know my Mary Blue has a few different iterations of their paints, so I'm going to try to do the swatches with that in mind when I get there. So I'm excited to test that out later on this year. All right, so now 
Let me show you all the ink stuff that we have for 2024. Okay, so time for some ink and some ink pen fun. So let's start with some of the stuff that I got as gifts. I got these new King Art painting pens. I've never had painting pens before, but now that I've got all this ink, I thought it would really be fun to try. And there's an extra fine line one and a fine line one. King Art's really been upping their game in the art supply department. So I am very excited to play with this set and see what it does and see how it works with the different types of, not calligraphy, but just bullet journaling that I've been doing. If maybe this is going to be a fun thing that we can do in bullet journals. And then my sister, for my stocking, bought me some of my King of All King liners, the Tombow Fudenosuke brush pens in the hard and soft tip. I absolutely love these. I can't ever have enough of them. I go through them like crazy, especially when I'm doing my bullet journal because this is the main way that I put everything into my bullet journal. So I love having them and I just have a little box that I keep all my fine liners in. So they will go in there in their packaging so I know they're brand new. This is a, an ink pen, a Christmas ink pen that I bought. Uh, my daughter and I both got one. This was, I bought it for us, but I wanted us to have matching ones. It is so cute. It is a little christmas e barrel on the pen, and then I believe it is a medium nib, I'm pretty sure. But look at this really pretty, like, galaxy-like... I don't know if you call that like a like where the pen connects. I don't know what you call that, but I just think it's beautiful. And there is a converter in here. I haven't tried to open this yet. I guess we're going to do it together now. Yep, there is a converter in here, so that's really exciting. And I am really jazzed. I think you also can put ink straight into there, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to put it in a converter because I like that better. And then on top of all of that, it also came with this nice little dropper, which I really appreciate because sometimes ink bottles are really hard to work with. So I feel like this will make things a lot better if I wanted to get ink in and out of a bottle that is complicated. But this I bought on Etsy. And like I said, my daughter has a matching one. So we really like those. Oh, and here's instructions for the pen. And then the last thing I bought before I talk about all the Ferris wheel press stuff that I have is this, and I have not looked at this yet, but I saw this on Amazon and I thought it was an excellent deal. So this is a Jinhao set of calligraphy fountain pens. There are 12 in here. Look at those. And they just look pretty. I don't know. And this was such a good deal. It was like 18 bucks for 12 pens. And I think they all come with converters. So like if you are just getting somebody into ink pens, this felt like a steal of a deal, right? And yeah, so these just look really nice. Nice converters in there. They're made of plastic. The heads look like little sharks. Look at that. Look how cute. So yeah, and then I just, I have so much ink, so now I can fill these all up with ink. Maybe that's something that I'll do on live today, because we're going to go live on YouTube in a little bit. But uh, yeah, that is a really nice set that I wanted to pick up on Amazon, and it was a good deal, so I thought, you know what, I'm going to go for it. They, they're called the shark pen. Yeah, that's what it's called. But they just looked like, hey, this is too good to be true. What a deal on ink pens. Oh, <clears throat> I'll set it over here so you can see. All right. And then Ferris Wheel Press just did me dirty because I'll tell you what, guys. They just kept having really good deals, like insanely good deals. For example, if I bought any kind of product, I got a sketchbook for free. So I got this sketchbook for free. From them. I have, of course, had to pay shipping, but it's still a deep discount if you consider the shipping. And then I think I bought, so I think I bought this with that. And then I think that these three things came together and I got something free there too. I can't remember which one of these items was free, but <clears throat> here's what I got from them. I will start with the inks and the pens and then move my way down. 
I got two sets of ink chargers. I don't know why they came looking different. <clears throat> the previous ink charger sets I have gotten have looked like this. This one is a woven warmth set. And actually, I believe I swatched these in this booklet right here. Yes. So here is the woven warmth set, Majestic Maple Syrup, Cabernet on the Lake, and Hampton Harbor Sage, I believe, is the woven warmth set. And then this set, yeah, is the Frosted Carnival Collection, which is the Hardy Harvest, Crystal Blue Legacy, and the Front Neck Blue, which, I mean, you can just see how beautiful all six of these inks are. I just look at the shimmer on them and the pigmentation. This Hampton Harbor Sage is just what a beautiful color. I want to use that in a dip pen. I want to use that in all kinds of fun in my bullet journal. And the front neck blue is another favorite. I love those dusty colors. But yeah, this is a great little set of six inks that I got relatively inexpensively. So you can try different colors for like 15 bucks each, which I, well, like total. So 15 for the three cut thing the three inks, which I think is a really good deal. All right, I also have two different carousel fountain pens here, and I have a ton of these carousel fountain pens at this point, but I have Brilliant Beanstalk, and what's this one called? Malibu Blush. I'll just pull out the Beanstalk one because they look the same. So this is a plastic pen. And I'm not sure what size nibs I got. It should say somewhere for me on here. Medium. They're both medium nibbed pens, which I tend to do if I'm going to put glitter ink in there is a medium nibbed pen, but that's how it looks. Um, really, really pretty. Good high quality. And then you've got a charger in here as well. It will go right into your pen. And so you can start using it right away with whatever color ink you would like. And they clip closed. They don't um, screw closed, which for everyday use, I really like because I think that these pens are meant to be used every day. They're not meant to be precious. And then I have one of these already. It is a racing green always write dot grid notebook. I absolutely love it. It's just a lot of fun to play with. I wanted to get, I, I think this might've been my free item. I got both of these surfaces for free, I think. It's just a really nice journal. The leather, the I think it's vegan leather and it's really nice and smooth and just fun to use. And I just love it. So I wanted to get another one to have in reserve for whenever I use up the previous one. And then this is their sketchbook. And I would like to test some of this paper because it feels nice and thick. I think it's not probably meant for water. It's a sketchbook, so it's probably not meant for water, but I think it probably would take ink well. It says here, blank canvas made for creatives, illustrators, artists, and dreamers. Imbue your most wondrous ideas on 240 pages of high quality 160 GSM pH neutral acid free paper. The sketchbook features an accordion pocket to keep all your inspirations at hand and you'll always find your way with a plump 7 8 inch grow grain ribbon place marker. So that's what we know about it. Just looking here is the accordion pocket. It's very nice and high quality. This is such a big sketchbook that it's hard to get it all on here and then yeah it's just the, the the boats are such a beautiful background I still haven't taken this off of it but I think it'll be a really nice sketchbook for me to just have and keep at my desk for fun ideas maybe different things that I can just doodle out and sketch out because that's kind of what a sketchbook should be when you're not talking watercolor sketchbook so I'm excited about this one as well and that is everything I got in the ink department quite a bit. I seem to be obsessed with this particular supply lately, but we are definitely going to do a deep dive now that the ink vent calendar has been unboxed. We will be doing more deep dives on different inks and inks of, I don't know, maybe I'll do an ink of the month or something this year. Would you guys be interested in that? Let me know in the comments. Let's go ahead and look at 
the miscellaneous category. All right, so in the miscellaneous category, we have some fun things. We have a couple books, one book, and then just some fun stuff. So let me show you some of my favorite things. I got a pair of socks from my sister. They are good luck socks, and they are Bob Ross socks. So no mistakes, just happy accidents. I have been waiting to wear these until I showed them to you, so I will probably put them on today. I am so excited about these cute Bob Ross socks. Just a perfect little fun gift. And then another perfect little fun gift I got came from my daughter. She got me this little to-do organizer that says to-do after coffee because she knows me so well. It's got a magnet on it so I can stick it on my filing cabinet up here when I'm working. And I just love it. I just think it's such a cute little fun thing that she got me. So I thought I would share because those are, you know, adjacent to and will be in my studio. Then my... In my stocking from my parents, which I know is weird, like I'm 40, but they still do little stockings for us. It's like their fun thing. We've done a tradition every year. I got glue tape, a new type of glue tape from a brand called Plus. I've never heard of that before, but it is acid free and photo safe. And this one is, I don't know if they're different at all. It looks like they're very similar. They're just different colors, but they have the honeycomb dot pattern on them. And there's 26 feet in each one. I am a pretty big Tombow glue tape girl, but I'm willing to try something new. So we've got these to try. And then from Plus as well, a Twiggy curved blade pair of scissors. I'll open these to show you what they do. I love these. I have um, a set that I keep at my desk. But these ones maybe I'll throw in my purse. As long as I'm not traveling. Because you don't want to have these in your purse at the airport. But... Basically, I think you just, yep, open it like that. And then there you have a set of scissors on the go, which can be a very convenient thing. These ones do have a nice locking mechanism and feature that the other ones I have don't have. So this is a really nice high quality set. I'm really excited to have those for my purse. Um, okay, now a couple other things. Oh, and one more thing that was a Christmas present and then some of this stuff was stuff that I have either been sent or picked up myself. My husband and my daughter got me 365 days of drawing. I have wanted this book for a long time. I think it's a really fun idea. I'm not going to do it in a full year. I know this about myself, but I think that it's a really cool way if you're having art block to get outside of your head and do something different. So like this page says, fill in the diamonds, perhaps create a rainbow pet. It just gives you an idea. This one says, practice sketching the outline of an everyday object using a pencil and then like I think later on in here it'll give you some uh, different kinds of prompts but it's just something that you can flip to a page and say okay I'm gonna do this thing design the mugs you know so I like that idea of being able to just have somebody tell me what to do when I don't know what to do or it would be kind of a fun thing maybe on the channel to do when I can't think of a good idea for a video but maybe we just want to have a little bit of art fun so I'm very excited for this book. I know other people have had it and loved it. So excited that I finally get to play with it. My Blackwing subscription came, and I know I talked about this on my YouTube Live, but this Blackwing Volumes is Volume 2, and it is the Light and Dark Pencil. It is their first, I believe, extra, extra firm offering. I am very excited to open it and play with it, and they are glow-in-the-dark pencils. So I don't think I have... My, oh, I do have it. Hold on. Well, well, we'll come back to this because I will at the end here maybe play with my black light and see if we can get the pencils to glow on the camera. But I want to go through the rest of this first. All right, next thing I want to show off is something I was sent by a very generous subscriber who I also happen to really love, and that was Artsy Rosie. Artsy Rosie saw that I mentioned her in the gift guide and asked if it was okay if she sent me a little thank you present, which thank you, Artsy Rosie, that's amazing. So we have her little color play all day book and it explains how to use the limited palette cards that she sent me. That's what this little book is, it's limited palette cards. So it gives you different little swatching situations and the book tells you what to do with it, how to take a limited palette here and mix stuff together which I absolutely love 
having little things like this to play with paint. And this is high quality watercolor paper because Rosie doesn't do it any other way. So this is so fun. On top of that, she sent me a little set of papers. So this is just a little set of sample papers and they're nice and small and they're gonna be really fun to play with. And then she sent me this whole little plein air kit that I just think is amazing. So let's go through everything that's in here because it's a whole bunch. It is literally everything you would need for plein air painting. So there is, of course, a sketchbook. It's got a wire bound top, so you can use it like this. Um, this is Fabriano Studio Hot Press Watercolor Paper. Great paper. Like I said, Rosie doesn't do it any other way. So here is the Fabriano Studio Paper. Oh, wait. Okay, so this is, I was going to say, this looks like cold press. So half of the book is cold press, and then you flip, and the other half is hot press. That is such a cool idea. I didn't notice that till right now. But I think that's amazing because it does allow you to have both options really quickly in a sketchbook. There was a little chamois in here, which I love when I'm traveling with stuff. There's more stuff in here too, let's see. So let's stick that back in here. We have a water brush and a Uniball Onyx fine liner, so that's amazing. And then on top of it, she sent me paint and a palette. So you've got Daniel Smith Artist Watercolor Palette here, and you've got your little set of Daniel Smith watercolors. I love Daniel Smith watercolors, but I don't have them in a teeny tiny palette like this. And you know me, I love mini palettes. I love traveling. So we're going to swatch these out and have this set. There is, what's this? Oh, these are little glue dot cards. It probably tells us what to do. Uh, probably to glue these down once I have them in the order I want them in because that way they will stay secure. Oh no, they are magneted down. So I wonder what the glue dots are for. Oh, it says, I sell my palettes with pans already glued in place because some people like to arrange the colors in it. I don't sell them that way. So I include the glue dots. So you can glue them down with the glue dots. That's really nice because I, I appreciate that there are different ways to kind of do it in the palette so that you can kind of do the thing you like to do with the palette. And then we have a little ceramic mixing plate here that I am going to try to open this without breaking. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do so that I can keep this because... I feel like I'm going to want to keep this little piece of <clears throat> um, bubble wrap so that it, it stays nice. So just a tiny little ceramic tile mixing plate. It looks like a subway tile that's been repurposed for this idea. It's so, so unique and creative. I absolutely love it. So anyway, that was from Artsy Rosie. Thank you. Thank you, Artsy Rosie. Artsy Christie, thanks, Artsy Rosie, because this is such an sweet and thoughtful thing of her to do. She didn't have to send me this stuff for free. Um, I absolutely believe her sketchbooks are 100% wonderful. And so I would have said that no matter, but what a nice, this is why I love the art community here on YouTube because we just we do these nice things for each other. All right, last couple things in here. I, um, I got this booklet, which is kind of a silly art supply, but Super Ray Dizzle tuned me into this when she was going through fun things on the internet. And it is just a sticker book that you can put stickers down and then they are able to be repositioned and brought back up. But often I have these Sketchbox stickers or other stickers like this. And it's just something that I kind of wanted somewhere to put all my stickers that I get from all of the different things that I do on the channel. So, you know, here's, the, here's my Sketchbox page and I'm going to fill it up. And then that way, if I want to put one on a water bottle or a palette or something... I have them, but I'm not just having them loose because that's not good for me. So this is cool. I really think that's a neat idea. And the last thing I'm very excited about because I haven't seen anybody talk about this full set yet and I had to go to the depths of the internet to find it and get it, but I got a full set of the Faber-Castell 24 Gold Faber Sketch Markers. So these are Faber-Castell's new alcohol markers and they are the ones with the unique dual brush tips. 
So they have a big brush tip here, like that. And then they have the teeny tiny brush tip on the other side. Now I know people got a set of six of these in scrawler boxes and we got one in a sketch box, but I was, I was not able to find a spot in the US where they were selling these. I had to really dive deep to find a set of them, but I did. So I now have the set of them. Maybe they're becoming more available now, but I'm excited to play with these and swatch them and see how they play on the channel. I really want to compare them to the Tombow ABT Pros because I think these are very similar to the Tombow ABT Pros in feel, except instead of having a bullet nib um, on the one side, they have that flexible nib. So I would really want to put these guys up against each other and see how they work. So anyway, I wanted to save that for last. But let's go ahead now and I'll get my black light out and we'll see if we can get these Blackwing Volumes pencils to glow. All right, I tried to play around with these Blackwing pencils a little bit just to see if I could get them to really light up, but it is just too bright in here. I don't have blackout curtains in this room, but at least under the black light pencil, I can show you kind of what it looks like under the black light. So you can see kind of the crackle. It's a really cool pencil. I'm very excited about them. And I'm super excited about the double extra firm lead. So I'm going to play with that. And before I go, I just want to make one disclaimer on this video, which is to say that I feel very fortunate to have friends and family in my life that like to help support the art journey that I'm on. And obviously, I would not buy all of this stuff if I wasn't going to review a lot of it for the channel and kind of give comparisons and ideas. I'd buy some of it still, but a lot of it I buy because I want you guys to spend your money more wisely. Please do not ever feel like I am giving you a, uh, that you have to go out and buy something because I said, oh, I bought it. You should buy it too. That's never the vibe on this channel. I just like to give you guys ideas and show you kind of what I purchased so you know what's upcoming on the channel. So I'm very excited for 2024 to play with a lot of the supplies that we have in this room right now and compare and contrast things. We've got a lot of good stuff here to look at. And then we will continue with the sketch box every month. And I am going to also do um, another subscription of sorts each month. We'll talk about it when it comes, but that's kind of a neat spoiler. And um, yeah, I just use what you have, create with what you have, because the supply that you have in front of you right now is going to give you joy if you just get the opportunity to get it out and give it a try. So yeah, that is the art haul. I hope that you enjoyed it. And uh, what was your favorite thing that you're most excited for? That's what I want you to talk about in the comments. Tell me the thing that you are most excited to see me play with here on the channel. I can't wait to read your comments below. And that's going to be it for me today. I hope that this inspires you to grab something that you already have and make something fun today. And we will see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.